We're going to turn our attention now over to tech with the sector trading in record territory thanks to the rally in the magnificent seven stocks, which are, of course, about one third of the S&P's entire market cap. But with AI being the buzzword of 2023 and likely of 2024, will a massive investment cost end up paying off for investors? Our own Steve Kovac joins me now with much more. Steve, good morning. Hey, good morning, Frank. Yeah, so we surveyed members of the CNBC Tech Executive Council on their split spending plans in IT and more on AI. And the results, this comes from council members made up of CTOs, CIOs, and tech CEOs. Well, they're looking to accelerate their spending in artificial intelligence. Let's break down the numbers of what we learned. More than half of them, 59%, say their companies are accelerating investments in AI capabilities. Everyone else, they're still evaluating their AI spending, but being more cautious about it. But look, no one, 0%, is ignoring AI altogether. Another interesting bit out of this survey, 41% say they plan to spend the most capital on AI over the next 12 months. Only 9% said the most would go to cybersecurity. I found that a little surprising because, you know, in the light of the slew of hacking reports we've been getting recently and likely more to come with those new SEC rules. So where does that spending go? We asked these members about enterprise-level AI. Those are the chatbots being sold by companies like Microsoft and Salesforce. More than half of them, 55%, said they plan to purchase enterprise AI software and soon, within the next six months. That's really good news for Microsoft and its pricey co-pilot for Office apps. And soon others, like Google Workspace, could benefit as well, Frank. You know, Steve, I actually was a little bit surprised by that last number, that 55% plan to buy enterprise AI software in the next year. I thought every company was just moving towards AI to, uh, you know, increase efficiency and optimize their operations. Yeah, and I've been talking a lot to uh, decision makers uh, over the last several months uh, who, you know, CTOs and the like, who would be buying this software from, from Microsoft. And one of the concerns they bring up is, you know, they kind of want to see how it works in the real world first before kind of making that big investment. Keep in mind, Frank, it is expensive. It's $30 per seat per month. That is a huge investment. And, you know, Microsoft hasn't really proven yet. They've made promises that it will increase productivity. So one thing, they want to see how it works. The other thing, they're still concerned about data security, despite the fact Microsoft guarantees, you know, it's all stuck in this container. It's encrypted and so on and so forth. You can't uh, share any data that you normally wouldn't share with Microsoft, but still a little caution with this new technology. So there are a lot of factors at play here, but the fact that so many of them are planning to spend within the next six months, that's all Microsoft. There's really not too many other competitors out there, and Microsoft has such a strong foothold in enterprise software, Frank.